Hey guys, so I have some exciting news today. I have got tickets to the BFI Film Festival and I'm going to watch a screening of the film Soul, uh, the brand new Pixar film that's coming out. Music is all I think about. From the moment I wake up in the morning to the moment I fall asleep at night. I was born to play. They've just announced that it's going to be released on Disney Plus on Christmas Day. So that's exciting. So everyone will get a chance to see it. Um, it's not going to have a, a worldwide release in cinemas, I don't believe. Uh, I think it's going straight to Disney Plus. Uh, but I'm lucky to have an early screening of it. And uh, so this is really exciting. Uh, Pixar always knock it out the park. And this film in particular is being directed by Pete Doctor. And Pete Doctor is just a, a legend of Pixar. He's been there since the, you know, the beginning. He's directed Monsters Inc., he directed Up, he directed Inside Out, and now he's directed Soul. As well as that, he's also been made Chief Creative Officer of Pixar. So he's had a hell of a busy last four or five years uh, directing and uh, being made the head of the studio. His films always have such heart to them, and especially Inside Out had such a heart to it. This film looks like it's all about people's dreams and their souls and uh, their passions and pff, I love films like that. So this is going to be really exciting to see. Hey guys, so I just got back from the BFI Film Festival and I was not disappointed. It was so good. Um, Pete Doctor has once again blown it out of the park. and. Obviously I couldn't record anything there, but what I can do is talk about what I saw. What was really cool is they opened with a Zoom call with Pete Doctor, the director, Kemp Powers, the co-director, and Dana Murray, the producer. And Pete Doctor was talking about how he came up with the idea. Yeah, this film is really about, it, it kind of explores like, how is it that we're born with certain personality quirks? I have two sisters, totally different. We all grew from the same genetic stock and in the same household, but totally different people. My kids are the same way. How is that possible? So we started to think about, well, it's, it's because we're each born with a soul, but where did those souls come from and what was the training involved there? And that's what led to this, this concept. So it's been a really fun journey and very difficult because of course, what do souls look like? I mean, it, they're invisible, they're air, ethereal, vaporous, and we had to figure all this stuff out. So the film is about a character called Joe Gardner and his passion is jazz music. He loves playing jazz music. He's dreamed about it his whole life. And when we first see Joe, he is a school teacher and he's teaching music. He dreamed of playing piano in a jazz band. And I will say this because you see this in the trailer, uh, so I'm not spoiling too much. Joe finally gets the gig of his dreams and he gets to play piano in a jazz band and the performances that night and he's so excited he's calling up everyone telling everyone that he's got the gig he's got the dream he's gonna make it and then as he's running because he's so excited he falls into a pothole and that's it he's dead and you're like oh my god what's, and what's gonna happen now and then he's turned into a soul and he's in like, the soul world and um <laughs> And then he's he's panicking and saying, "No, no, no! I don't. I'm uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I was. This is my big break. I don't want to go. I don't want to go." And uh, then complications happen, and then that's when the film kind of starts. It's really, really clever um, idea for a film. It's interesting to learn more about the souls and about how we get a soul and do our souls change over time and, and do our passions change over time and that's kind of what the core of the film is about and it's so clever and it, it, it feels a lot like Inside Out because it's just it's one of those things that's so clever and really makes us think about life and think about what we do. The sound design is incredible. So. It has a really unique score the whole way through. Whenever you're in New York, whenever you're in the real world, there's this lovely jazz music that is there the whole time. And then when you're in the soul world, it's different uh, music. Um, and it's very visually, sorry, it's not very, very visually, very um, 
audibly, is that the word? <laughs> it's very, it's very different in terms of music. I was trying to think of something clever to say then, but <laughs> it's just, it's just different. <laughs> I don't want to say two more because I want you to watch it on Christmas Day. I want you to watch it with your family. I want you to watch it on Disney Plus. It's really good. Guardian today gave it a five star review, and I completely agree with that. It is one of those Pixar films that is going to go down as a very highly reviewed film. Hopefully it's going to get many watches on Disney Plus on Christmas Day. There's my take on it. It's late on Sunday. Hope you guys have had a great week. Thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to check out my other videos, I've got a playlist, 100 Facts About Disney, where I go through every Disney film from the very beginning, Snow White, and I try to give you as many facts as I can about the animation and the cool behind the scenes. Cheers guys, I'll see you then.